Bewitching, isn't it? Elizabeth Montgomery captured the hearts of audiences everywhere in the 1960s and 70s, and well beyond in syndication. She was most well known for, by far, her role on the sitcom Bewitched. I want to show my appreciation by giving you a present. What sort of a present? Oh, what would you like? But that isn't all she did. Keep watching to learn all the bewitching things you didn't know about her life. If you enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. What do you think of when you think of witches? Do you think of a green-faced, mean old lady? You don't typically think of someone with a huge heart trying to help communities who are discriminated against. Yet, that's what Elizabeth Montgomery did. She volunteered her time and resources for the LGBTQ community, AIDS research, and women's rights. Her association with these causes made for a tough relationship with her father. But more on all of these things later. I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick, and let's jump on in and see where the magic lies. A TV Baby Elizabeth Montgomery was the daughter of film actor Robert Montgomery and Broadway actress Elizabeth Allen. But her parents did divorce when she was a teenager. Elizabeth appeared on 30 episodes of her father's TV show Robert Montgomery Presents, which is kind of ironic because he didn't actually want her to become an actress. He wanted her to get married, settle down, and live a regular life. Please. She ended up having a bad relationship with her father because she was more successful than he was at acting. But they also disagreed on other things, like her view on politics. But more on that later. After appearing on her father's show, Elizabeth went on to appear in several other popular television series, including The Twilight Zone, Wagon Train, and Alfred Hitchcock Presents. I don't want to hurt you, Carl, but I can't go on living like this. Elvis Presley thought that Montgomery was an attractive woman. Well, I'd say. The two co-starred in the movie Kid Galahad in 1962 together. Elvis regularly flirted with her on the set, and her older husband would get very upset by this. That's understandable. The Witch with the Twitch Elizabeth Montgomery, of course, is most well known for her Samantha Stevens on the top-rated ABC sitcom Bewitched. It ran from 1964 until 72, and she was the only cast member to appear in all 254 episodes. And shameless plug, we have two great deep dive videos into this magical sitcom, so be sure to check those out after. Did you know that the reason they used the nose twitch was because the director noticed that she actually twitched her upper lip and nose when she got nervous. So they decided to use it as the symbol for her magic. And her magic was revolutionary for television at the time. She would do the signal for the magic to happen, and the director would yell cut, and the stagehands would move things around on set. True TV magic. <laughs> Montgomery also portrayed Samantha Stevens' cousin, Serena. The two characters had opposite personalities and ambitions, but Montgomery moved between the characters with ease. The credits at the end of Bewitched stated that Pandora Spox played Serena. This was intended to be a spin on the idea of Pandora's box. Montgomery also made cameo appearances as Samantha from time to time. She appeared in the film How to Stuff a Wild Bikini in 1965, as well as an episode of The Flintstones, aptly titled Samantha. Oh, these must be your jumpers, Pebbles. Let's see if they live up to their name. Elizabeth was married to the Bewitched producer, William Asher. The couple worked together for eight seasons on the show, but then separated. And one more byproduct of Bewitched, the name Samantha became extremely popular in the 1960s. Countless little girls were named after the beloved character of their parents. Elizabeth Montgomery sure did leave a huge impact on pop culture. A magical movie star. After Bewitched ended, Montgomery's career took a darker turn. She then played very dramatic and serious roles. Montgomery played Ellen Harrod in A Case of Rape in 1974, a made-for-TV movie, and her performance was heartbreaking to watch and garnered great reviews. Next, Montgomery portrayed Lizzie Borden in The Legend of Lizzie Borden in 1975. This role was based on the true story about the woman who was accused of killing her father and step mother with a hatchet. And if you've not seen it, this movie tells the story from Lizzie Borden's point of view. Not guilty. 
And actually, after Montgomery passed away, a genealogist discovered that she and Lizzie Borden were actually sixth cousins once removed, descending from John Luther, a Massachusetts resident in the 17th century. That's pretty wild. Montgomery also starred in a movie with O.J. Simpson called A Killing Affair in 1977 about a policewoman and her partner. Well, if we're stuck with each other, let's really be stuck. Look, I've got a marriage to think about hate for Hollywood. It was no secret that Elizabeth Montgomery did not like Hollywood. She was nominated for an Emmy Award on eight different occasions in her life, but surprisingly, she never won the coveted award. So she began acting in Japanese commercials for Lotte Corp. She appeared as Samantha for these commercials from 1980 until 83. The company sold chocolate, biscuits, and cookies. Four husbands. Montgomery was married four times in her life. First, she married Frederick Gallatin Kaman in 1954, but the couple divorced less than a year later. Second, she married a successful actor named Gig Young from 1956 until 1963. Gig Young was 25 years older than her and an alcoholic who had already been married twice. And Young would actually go on to kill his fifth wife and then commit suicide. Wow. Thirdly, she married William Asher in 1963. And the couple had three children, William Asher Jr., Robert Asher, and Rebecca Asher. The couple divorced in 1973 after Elizabeth had an affair with director Richard Michaels. That affair caused both Montgomery and Michaels' marriage to end. And those two would live together for two and a half years before separating. Finally, Montgomery's fourth husband was Robert Foxworth, whom she finally married in 19. 1993, after they had lived together for 20 years. The two remained married until her death in 1995. As the saying goes, fourth time's a charm. A heart of gold. Elizabeth was deeply involved in politics and standing up for human rights, knowing that her reputation, fame, and wealth would intensely benefit the causes that she was so passionate about. Many claim that her political views were progressive, including her father, who was a staunch Republican. This adds speculation that the pair had intense conversations which further strained their relationship. Montgomery was an ardent feminist who fought for women's rights, LGBT rights, and of course, AIDS activism. She was also extremely critical of the Vietnam War. As a talented actress, she lent her voice to two political documentaries that are very critical of the United States' foreign policy. First, she narrated Cover Up Behind the Iran-Contra Affair in 1988, and then she voiced the sequel The Panama Deception in 1992, which actually won an Academy Award. In 1992, she and former Bewitched co-star Dick Sargent were the two co-marshals at the Los Angeles Gay Pride Parade. Elizabeth, what are you here today? Yeah. Montgomery also volunteered at the Los Angeles Unit of Learning Ally, an organization which recorded books on CDs for disabled people. She was responsible for producing many radio and public service announcements for TV for the organization in 1994. The organization dedicated its 1995 Recordathon to Montgomery. In April 1998, an auction of clothing owned by Montgomery was held, and the funds raised were donated to the AIDS Healthcare Foundation of Los Angeles. Erin Murphy, who played her daughter Tabitha on Bewitched, modeled the clothing which was included in the auction. Then a little fun fact, Elizabeth Montgomery actually chose the name Tabitha for her TV daughter. Tragic death and legacy. Sadly, Elizabeth Montgomery struggled with colon cancer, but she thought she had beaten it. Unfortunately, in early 1995, the colon cancer returned. She pushed through flu-like symptoms while filming Deadline for Murder, and by the time the cancer was diagnosed, it was too late for medical intervention because now it had spread to her liver. There were no treatment options, and she was unwilling to die in a hospital, so she returned home to Beverly Hills. She knew how serious it was, but she didn't but she tried to be 
positive. Elizabeth was only 62 years old when she passed away eight weeks later. Montgomery's final TV role was a voiceover for an animated Samantha on Batman the Animated Series. Following her death in May 1995, the 794-acre plot in Patterson, New York, owned by Montgomery, was sold to the state of New York and turned into Wonder Lake State Park. The park is open to the public and as of 2015 contains over eight miles of walking trails and more than a thousand acres of land. A statue was erected in Montgomery's honor in Salem, Massachusetts in June 2005. Of course, it depicts her as Samantha Stevens from Bewitched. What better way to honor a city famous for fake witches than erecting a statue of America's favorite fake witch? So now it's your turn. Tell us your favorite episode of Bewitched. Or did you enjoy another project of Montgomery's career? Well, get in the comments section and let us know no, we read every one and we love hearing from you. And if you enjoyed revisiting the bewitching life of Elizabeth Montgomery, consider clicking that thumbs up for us and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a throwback video. As always, from all of us here at Do You Remember, thank you for watching.